In this week's recipe, we'll be making this delicious, fluffy, marbled banana bread. This is the perfect recipe to use those old brown bananas you have lying around on your countertop. First thing we're gonna do is preheat the oven to 180 degrees on fan. For this recipe, you'll need one cup of cake flour and one and a quarter cup of self-rising flour, one teaspoon of baking powder and two tablespoons of 100% cacao powder, a quarter of a cup of brown sugar and a quarter of a cup of dark brown sugar, two tablespoons of vegan margarine, softened, and half a teaspoon of mixed spice powder. As for our wet ingredients, we're going to be using four very ripe bananas, two organic eggs, one tablespoon of maple syrup and one cup of almond milk, as well as one tablespoon of vanilla essence, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and three tablespoons of sunflower oil. Into a large mixing bowl, we're going to crack the two eggs. To that, we're going to add the dark brown sugar and the normal brown sugar. Using an electric mixer on very high speed, we're going to mix the mixture until it's very, very fluffy. Once that's done, add the vanilla essence, as well as the softened margarine. Also, add the sunflower oil. And to add some natural sweetness, add one tablespoon of maple syrup. Give that a stir, and now it's time to add the bananas. You can simply peel the bananas and add them to the mixture in whole. To give that authentic banana bread flavor, add the mixed spice now. Use your electric mixer to blend in the bananas until no lumps remain. Now add one cup of almond milk. Once that's nicely combined, add one cup of cake flour. Give it a stir. Before you continue mixing in the self-rising flour, add the baking powder and a sprinkle of Himalayan sea salt. To make the batter extra fluffy, add in one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar now. At this point, we want to start creating that marbled effect. To do that, we're going to take out one cup of the normal batter and to the one cup of batter, we're going to add two tablespoons of cacao powder. I added some almond milk to the batter just to help it blend. I would definitely recommend you use a bigger bowl than me because, as you can see, I struggled quite a bit. Cacao powder was literally all over my workspace. So after cleaning that up, grab a large loaf pan and coat it lightly with oil. Okay, so first add your normal banana bread dough to the pan. After that, we're going to add the chocolate batter directly to center. Next, we're going to need a fork to create that marbled effect. Use the fork to swirl through the batter just to lightly incorporate them. You don't want to overmix, just incorporate it ever so slightly. Bake on 180 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. And there you have it, the most gorgeous looking marbled banana bread. This recipe is so perfect for using all those ripe bananas you have lying around. You'll never have to throw away a banana again. 
If you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you love banana bread.